Harry, but he overfished to me again. Just a, a good while ago, I showed uh, this one black guy uh, here at the Agnes table. Um, the part of two bridge verses of my Don't Want Your Shelter song and, and the chorus part that I did last night on the corner of uh, Bay and Central. And he thought it was good, the, the two bridge verse parts and, and, and the chorus part. And then quite enough other people that I showed all, um, you know, the verse parts I did of, of my Don't Want Your Shelter song and, and the chorus part. Um, well, I, I only got to show just one black guy at, at Riverfront Park. Um, the uh, chorus part uh, I did last night of my Don't Want Your Shelter song. And he, he thought that was good. Yeah, but uh, otherwise, um, all the uh, verse parts I showed, um, you know, kind of other people, or, or for sure a good few other people, they also thought that, that those verse parts were good. But um, when it came to trying to, um, you know, show the husband of the owner a couple of, of the Ritz bar to try to see if uh, he thought that, you know, my songs, you know, might sound like, like they're good enough to perform there. I still got him, you know, saying, no, that won't fit in there. And then he, then he points to where the, you know, they have the band's play. He, he, he says no. He still says no. That won't fit in there. Sorry. Um, well, I guess though, when it comes to, um, you know, uh, yeah, whenever I, I heard any, you know, live bands that have their playing anything rock, it wasn't like you know re hard with the uh, you know the re uh, you know hard. Uh, Electric lead guitar, you know, um, yeah, it, was, it wasn't any, you know, rock songs like that. And then whenever I re-looked over there, it looks like uh, the only kind of people you see is, uh, like, married people who uh, have jobs that have to work Monday through Friday and, and, and then people in their 60s or so. Um, yeah, so... I, I guess um, it's the thing of, uh, it, you know, that the song, my song, like, like my Don't Watch Your Shelter one being being too hard for that kind of crowd. Because, um, you know, I, I didn't think that he would, you know, rethink that I was going to try to um, perform any of my songs there. Just, you know, with just my you know, just having the music play, you know, off my phone, you know, over my phone's little speaker, you know, I, I would have, um, my phone, um, hooked through a, you know, a PA system if they would have one for me to use. Well, maybe sometime in the near future, I'll find a bar or some place that has, uh, you know, local kind of unsigned bands and, and the uh, individual singer musicians, including ones that don't play an actual physical instrument, but just composes their music in a an app on their phone or or an FL studio or something like that, that would let me, um, you know, do my songs. And so yeah, that that'd be good if um, if I can find any place like that in, in the near in the future to, you know, perform my songs. Also, another good thing that I thought would be good to say on video here, even though I know I said before in a Facebook post, is that um, the reasons I put um, parts of my songs out on Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube, like I do, is I think it's a good thing to do um, to um, show fans of mine that I'm working on my music, and also um, so that you know, because of how long I can help it taking me to get songs of mine done because um, you, know, you know I know there may be um, quite enough other people especially like you know beat makers that just make beats for rappers um, I know that you know for sure them I've seen YouTube videos um, you know talk about 
you know, getting, you know, uh, you know their beats done in maybe in, in a few days or a week, something like that, or, or even in, in one day. Um, well, because I'm one that, you know, my, my, um, my musical imagination doesn't work that fast, that it takes me uh, really quite enough longer for really, you know, good musical part ideas to come to my mind and maybe uh, even a lyrical uh, idea, um, you know, once in a while. That's where um, another reason I put uh, parts of my songs out on Facebook and TikTok and YouTube like I do is is also to um, help keep uh, fans of mine interested. You know, so, you know, they, they don't get you know, bored or, or anything like that, you know, waiting for me to, to get a song done. So, you know, that, that, that way, um, by showing them, um, you know, parts of my songs, um, you know, as, as I, you know, even get them, you know, kind of, even kind of done enough, um, you know, for them to still sound, you know, cool enough. Yeah. Um, that way I, you know, I figure I also, you know, keep their interest, you know, un- until I get a song done. Yeah, and with that also being a way I can show fans how a song's coming along, then, you know, when I get the whole, the song all done and can uh, put out the the whole song, you know, after it's done, then um, that'll probably... I think they'll probably make them uh, like the song even better just because of, you know, them being able to see the progress you know, by, by me putting out um, parts of the song, you know, as I got them done, you know, if I don't have, you know, everything on them all done, um, but, you know, done enough, you know, for them to still, you know, think that they sound cool. Um yeah, that, that way um, that they've also been able to see the progress of, of the song as, you know, after I made each part. And, yeah, I think that will uh, also, um, you know, result in, in fans ending up like this, liking the song or any songs I make even better.